Hey, welcome to Wrenching to Race. We've got five days before we leave for New Hampshire. I'm up here alone. John's working, Mark's working. Derek is at a cheerleading competition. His daughter's cheerleading, not his competition, his daughter's competition. And Mango is on a black ops somewhere in Virginia. So today, we gotta get Rad on that trailer, hooked up to that van, which I'm not sure if you can see, doesn't have a hitch. So we're gonna be installing a hitch on the van today and then basically getting everything ready to go. So when we pull up Thursday morning, we can load up and hit the road because we have a long drive. Right now I'm gonna head over to the tire shop. We splurged and got some tires in case it rains to replace these very worn tires that we had with us in Pittsburgh in the snow days. So I'm gonna go swap those out, talk to them about getting a quick alignment done. And then that is it, man. Um, just sort of go over any loose ends for the GTI and then uh, get back to Brooklyn. I don't have that much time today, so gotta make it quick. New addition to the race travel kit. John went a little crazy in the head, picked up one of those. So we should be good as far as cooking goes. Not sure if the car is ready. I'm not even sure where the car is. I don't see it. So maybe it's back in the woods somewhere. We'll go find that after we drop off the tires. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
But the van is only rated for seven, I think. But better to have a little more than a little less. Let's go see what's going on with all this wiring now. This is the wiring connector that goes in the car. So on the Ford van, the E350, it comes with a plug. You take that plug and it will plug directly into this brake controller, which is a Takancha P2 brake controller. We'll have to learn how to use this. But the back of that plug plugs in there. This end is the factory Ford plug. So you can see it has four wires for those four connectors, sorry, for those four wires. Um, what those wires do, I don't know. But here's a whole instruction manual, some butt connectors. And uh, so I got to do some reading now. And then the other thing is that we have is what I hope is the connector we need for the Ford van, which it doesn't really look like this is going to connect to what we want it to connect to. So we got some splicing and some stuff to do, but basically this is what we need. Now we'll have to figure out where these wires go and all those wires. We've got four of the seven pins working for the trailer. The uh, seven pin connector is working, but I've only got seven wires hooked up. I mean, four wires hooked up. I had to do some wiring work on the box. Basically I had to run a new blue wire all the way over to the other light, the other side, to get lights on for both sides. It took me an insane amount of time to do all this. But we have lights and turn signals and stop brake lights. So at least we'll have lights going down the highway. We've got a backup set of tires sitting here. We got all the stuff ready to go into White Thunder. Picked up the new set of tires. And that's pretty much all I got done today. I'm gonna move Rad into position so that when we get here on Thursday, all we have to do is um, put her on the trailer with the guys and then take off. The trailer wiring thing is the connector that I have is not the correct connector. I'll have to call that guy back and see what's going on. I haven't checked the axles on the trailer. I don't know if the trailer has the right air in the tires. I don't know if the bearings are greased. They must be, but maybe we can just put a grease gun on the Zerk fitting. Um, and that's about it. We've got to fix the lid on one of the jockey boxes on the side. Whew. And that's all. The trailer wiring would have gone a lot faster if I would have had someone, you know, sort of like able to turn things on and off for me, but that's how it goes. That's it. I'm going to move Rad into the, into the go spot cover her up and uh, call it a day. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.